Welcome back from that very short break. We've just shown you um, the Ready to Run Lab talking about using media for effective campaigns. And for young people who are running for office, I hope you've collected your PVCs. And if you're preparing to vote, make sure you go collect your PVCs because I have mine. And this is my PVC um, here. Something interesting happened this week. INEC published the list of candidates. And on the show today, we will tell you how young people are actually faring. How many young persons were fielded as candidates by political parties? First, let's look at the voters' register. How many um, people are registered and how many of them are young people? According to INEC, um, there are about 84 million, 4,084 registered voters. 84 million, 4,000 um, and 84 million voters. And now, out of this total number of registered voters, 52% um, of them are males, and 77.1% are females. But that's not the interesting part. The most interesting part is how many of them are actually youth. And so we, if you look at it, um, the young people between 18 and 35 are about 51.1%. It means majority of those who will be voting are actually young people. Now, let's look at the, the occupational distribution, and you will see that a lot of registered voters are actually students. The occupational distribution as displayed on your screen, you will see that students are actually the highest with 26.5%. 26.5% are actually students. And if you go around, you will see traders and artisans. But the point is 26.5% are actually young people. Now, let's look at the number of youth candidates because I'm ready to run. The show is about youth and young people who are running for office. Now, if you look at the number of youth candidates, for the Senate, there are about 109 seats. In the Federal House of Representatives, there are 360 seats. Now, look at the number of youth candidates that were presented by the parties. But first, according to INEC, um, parties present, w presented 1,904 candidates. So for the senatorial elections, we will have 1,904 candidates. And then for the House of Reps, we will have 4,680 candidates. These are figures from INEC. Now let's look at, out of these figures, how many of them are young people between 18 and 35? Now for the Senate, the Senate presented um, about 253. Um, can we go back to the other slide? Can we go back to the other slide, the, the previous slide, um, just so our viewers can, can follow our analysis? For the Senate, um, there are about 253 young people based on the data. Can we go back to the number of youth candidates? Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. If you look at the Senate, there are about 253 um, youth candidates. That's representing 13.5%. And then for House of Reps, out of the 4,680, there are about 1,262, and that's 27.4% of youth candidates. Now, what we did at Ready to Run was to look at 2015 and 2019 and see whether there is an increase. Let's go to the next slide. You see the comparison um, between 2015 and 2019 and whether young people are participating. Now, if you look at for in 2015, the level of youth candidacy was 10% for the Senate, and then for the House of Reps, it was 18%. So 10% for Senate, and then 18% for House of Reps. But in 2019, let's look at the, the figure. For the Senate, the youth candidacy rose to 13.5%, and then for the House of Reps, it's about 27.4%. So there's an increase in the level or the rate of youth candidacy for Senate and House of Assembly um, or House of Representatives elections. Now, if you look at the zonal representation as well, and which zone has the highest number of um, youth candidates, um, the highest number of youth candidates for the, um, for, for the, for, for the Senate, um, the Northwest has the highest, and that's about 34.8%. Northwest has the highest 34.8% level of youth candidacy. Um, the Northwest also has the highest um, for the House of Reps, and that's 30.7%. So 30.7% um, rate of youth candidacy in the, in, the, um, in the Northwest. For the Senate, 
Um, the lowest is actually in the southwest. So the southwest is actually lagging behind in the rates of youth candidacy for senatorial elections. And the lowest region, or the, high, the region with the lowest rate of youth candidates for the House of Reps is actually the northeastern part of the country, uh, which is at 9.7%. Let's look at the gender distribution. How are women or young women actually faring? And it's quite, quite poor. Um, for the female youth candidacy, and uh, what we did, we looked at 2015, the female youth candidacy. You, you see this slide on your screen. Um, for the Senate, it was 17% in 2015. Um, in, in the House of Representatives, it was 15%. But in 2019, for the Senate, it's 16%. And then the House of Reps is about 13.4%. It means that there is a decline on the level of female um, youth candidacy. And that is quite sad for, for our country at a time when we should have more women going into, into office. And next is the party distribution. Who are the parties that presented these youth candidates? Um, we looked at the Senate and the House. For the Senate, 62 parties presented youth candidates um, for the National Assembly elections. And for the House, 81 parties actually presented candidates. And when at Ready to Run, we looked at which are the parties with the highest number of youth candidates. The top five, none of the two main parties, both APC, PDP, was amongst the top five, as well as the case um, with, the, um, with the House of Reps elections, and that's quite very poor. And lastly, we analyzed the INEC list and checked how many young people are contesting who are between tw um, 25 and 30. And it's very, very interesting. And you can call these people the primary beneficiaries of the Not Too Young to Run. As you know, the Not Too Young to Run reduced the age for running for the, for the House of Reps and the State House of Assemblies to 25. And we checked, and this is what we found out in our analysis, that for the House of Reps, there are about 266 candidates presented by parties who fall between 25 and 30. 20.7% 20 of them are actually um, youth, um, and this is representing um, um, out of the 27.4% that we talked about earlier, 20.7% are actually between 25 and 30. And for the young female um, candidacy who are between, or candidates who are between 25 and 30, are actually 15%. The Northwest has the highest um, level of um, youth candidacy and youth candidates who are between 25 and 30, and that's about 38.3%. And the lowest is the southern part of um, Nigeria with 7.9%. So this is the outlook on how young people um, are actually faring based on the list published by INEC um, this week as part of the list for candidates who are running. As you know, the commission published the list for presidential, for senatorial, as well as the House of Reps elections. Um, in two weeks' time, they will publish the list for state houses of assemblies, as well as governorships. And on this show, we will bring you that data on how young people are faring. Please don't go anywhere. I've got interesting guests with us in the studio today, and they're going to be sharing and talking about their vision and why they are running for office. We'll be right back after this short break. Thank you.